DeepSeek versus Claude 4 Opus versus ChatGPT 03 versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. Who wins? Today we're going to be testing them out side by side in an epic coding gauntlet between these AI models. Bearing in mind that DeepSeek have just released a brand new update called DeepSeek R10528, literally just got announced. And today we're gonna to be testing all of these models side by side to see who's the winner, who's the best. You can get all of the prompts that I used today from the AI Success Lab, link in the comments description. And the first prompt that we're gonna go with is building an AI powered SEO therapy chatbot. Let's get straight into it. I'm gonna run the prompt inside each of these. We're gonna be using Claude Opus 4 and I'm gonna make sure that I have extended thinking switched on as well just to get the most out of each of these models. We'll do the same inside ChatGPT 03 and then we'll do the same inside Gemini. Of course, you wanna make sure you have Canvas switched on with Gemini 2.5 Pro in the top right there as well. So let's see who comes back with the best output. I'm gonna open these up in separate windows just so you can see how fast each one moves as well and let the coding commence, peeps. So what you can see here is we've got DeepSeek on the left, Claude 4 Opus over here, ChatGPT 03, and then Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, what you can see here is that each of these took a similar amount of time to start coding out. I honestly think that it, oh, look at this, we've got Gemini. We just come up with the first output. So let's see what we got back here. Dr. Serp. Pretty basic app to be fair, but we'll see how this performs. And actually responds to us straight away as well. So we put, hey, and this is working nicely. I'm gonna vent my frustrations here. Okay, I got hit by the Google updates. Is it gonna to reply to me? Actually it does, look at that. It's a, <laughs> it's a very expressive AI therapist to be fair. Oh honey, those words carry so much pain. I hear you loud and clear, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually surprised this is responding to us. That's pretty crazy. Maybe that's built in or it's using the AI to do that. I don't know how it's doing that. The UI of Gemini was not that great, but it created the output and it created it pretty quickly as well. Now I've got the output from Claude. If we move the cursor, it actually uses its eyes to follow us around like you can see. And then inside here, it says, tell me about your ranking losses. I'm here to listen. I say, I miss my SEO traffic. And it says, it actually came back to us and said, I hear you losing your top three positions, blah, 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 must be hard. I'm actually gonna open that up in a separate tab just to make it easier to view. And there we go. I say what to do. But it doesn't really seem to give me answers that are like relevant to what I'm talking about. Does that make sense? So for example, it says, I said what to do and it said, it's completely normal to feel this way. Remember, you are more than your domain authority. You have intrinsic value beyond page rank. It's quite a funny creative sort of response, but it actually doesn't answer our questions. Whereas Gemini seemed to, what would be interesting is actually if you could plug in an API key and then, and then get outputs based on the AI. Now, GPT-03, has it come back to us? Yeah, it's come back to us. All right, let's preview this bad boy, see what we got. We'll allow that. So GPT-03 seems to have totally failed. You can see it says an error message right there. So the UI does not work at all. So I'm gonna place that behind Gemini and Claude so far, so far. I would say that Gemini is winning simply because it gave us the most relevant responses when we asked it questions. And then DeepSeek R1. It's giving us an output, but it's in Python. I'm gonna say turn that into HTML and see what we get back in a sec. History Byte says, Gemini 2.5 Pro is better at coding, but worse at other things. Every model has their weaknesses, right? So for example, if you want to generate an article or a blog, honestly, I don't even need to check all these. I would say that Claude Force on it creates the best outputs by far. Gemini is really good at coding, but it's not the best model out there, to be honest with you. Just waiting for this to come back from DeepSeek. He's holding us back here, slowing us down. I'll put on the next prompt to use HTML instead. Gemini ChatGPT03 
is almost guaranteed to come in last here, unless Deep Seek gives us something really bad. In the meantime, we'll come back to Deep Seek whilst it's generating that, because it might take a little while. And we'll move on to the next task, which is build a schema shogun puzzle game. Your samurai cutting and placing structured data into HTML scrolls, match FAQs, blah, blah, blah. And we'll turn that into a game as well. All right. So let's wait for Deep Seek R1 to load. It's actually taking absolutely ages to load the page right here. So what I might do is just go over to Open Router instead. All right, so we're going to run this inside DeepSeek and then we'll compare it against the rest as well. Let's go inside Opus here. We've got ChatGPT 03 ready to go and then Gemini as well, Gemini 2.5 Pro. Again, I think on all of these from what I've seen, DeepSeek is by far the slowest. Now we can actually run this. So let's click on run and see what we get back. As like I said, before we begin, what's your domain name? We'll go with OK. And then we've got the chatbot ready here. Right? The UI is actually better than Gemini 2.5 Pros, which is awesome. And if we go inside, OK. We'll do a little chat here. It's writing back to us. How are you feeling about your SERPs? I'm going to say terrible. And then it sends the same message again. All right. So if I had to give, let's see if this, we'll give it one final shot. Absolutely terrible, say, sunshine. Oh, it's just bro. It's a broken record, mate. You'd give up on that therapist quickly. How are you feeling about your SERPs today? It's asked us that three times. The UI is great, but the actual back end terrible. So if I had to grade each one of these, I'm going to go with Gemini 2.5 Pro as a winner. Claude 4 Opus coming in second. Deep Seek coming in third. UI was great, but functionality was terrible. And then finally, the final one I would say is... ChatGPT03 didn't create anything. Now, bear in mind, DeepSeek is free, and you can even code with it for free with the free API of OpenRouter, whereas, for example, ChatGPT03 is paid, and it's, it can be pretty expensive, I think, on the API as well. So we're going to close that. We know who the winners are, and we're waiting for each of these to load on the next task. So we have the output again, Gemini, and then Claude coming in terms of speed. So these are the fastest models by far. And then we've got schema shogun, slice the data into the correct thing. But it doesn't really seem to do anything. It doesn't make any sense. All right, let's close that. I'm going to say inside Claude, just to get a better output. And I'll do the same inside Gemini as well. Let's just say I'll make this a 3JS Samurai runner game. We'll do the same inside Gemini, so same prompt inside Gemini and Claude. We have the output back from ChatGPT03. Let's preview that. There we go. That's working nicely, to be fair. I'm just going to say, okay, make this like a free JS runner game on that too. And then DeepSeek is still, it's coding out now. just going to stop it and then I'm going to say the same thing inside here and we'll wait for each of these to load so Gemini actually has an error on this we'll try and get that fixed and then ChatGPT03 says stop the HTML and then run it again it's got a bug so we'll try and fix that and back in a sec peeps here we go so we got Gemini ready to go let's play this bad boy it's got sound effects there we go. Oh no. It's not much of a samurai though, that's what I don't like. Claude is stuck. 
doesn't seem to be doing anything. ChatGPT is not working. DeepSeek is still coding away. Here we are. All right, so we got Opus 4 ready to go. We got a little Samurai Stickman. Just collecting honor. That's probably the best output so far, to be fair. So ChatGPT03 just doesn't seem to be working at all. I'm just gonna preview that once more. Yeah, it's not working. And um, we got the HTML back from DeepSeek, so let's test this out. Begin the journey. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on there, but that's the most playable, to be fair. Gemini, it's, it's too basic. I'm sure if you go back and forth inside the chat here, you could create something interesting. But Claude is winning by far, to be fair. That's an actual playable game. Again, like you could go back and forth with the details a lot more if we have more time. But just as a quick preview, I'm going to say that Claude won here. So if I was to choose any of these, I've got to go with Claude. Now, let's create something a bit more basic just to give each a chance. So we're going to go back to Claude. DeepSeek, Gemini, and 3 And by the way, if you want the prompts from today, feel free to get them inside the AI Success Lab. I'm going to run this prompt for Dopamine Space Invaders. So I think at this point, just to recap here, let's turn that off, it should be on 3 So just to recap here, if I had to pick one so far, Gemini, I would say, is probably performing the best. DeepSeek is creating good stuff as well. Claude as well is up there, but ChatGPT is not even in the race at this point. So ChatGPT 03 finished first here. Let's test this out. Here we go. So Space Fires, here we go. That's a pretty nice game to be fair, nice effects. I like the background of all the stars and everything like that. It's looking pretty cool. Gemini looks just about finished. Deep Seek still coding. And we got Claude ready to go as well here. Claude, you can actually control the game with your, your mouse, it looks like. And here's a shoot button. I would say that's still better than, for example, GPT-03. If you look at the effects, the screen moving, the colors, the way you can control the mouse, the feel, etc. It's still better than O3, but O3 did okay. So have a look at Gemini now. So Gemini is finished. This is looking pretty nice. I like the retro feel. It's got sound effects as well. That's what we're talking about. Oh yeah, Gemini is winning. You old rogue. It's crushing it. All right. Let's try Deep Seek. Deep Seek is still taking his time. I think so far from the tests, I would say though that the Claude Opus has created the best outputs each time, right? It's a close tie between Gemini 2.5 Pro and Opus. But I just think Opus is overpowered in terms of what it can create, the functionality, etc. It's pretty awesome. So we got the results back from DeepSeek. Let's play this. Ah, it's lagging. It's not bad, but it's lagging. Yeah, so I think that's pretty conclusive then. So, for example, Claude Opus would be my pick from all of these. And I know some people are going to hate me for that in the comments and say that, that Gemini is a goat. But yeah, I'm going to go with Opus, then Gemini. Deep Seat comes in a solid third, right? It's definitely better than Chat GPT 03 from what I've seen. And 03, it really only worked on the last test. It didn't work on the rest. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the notes from today, all the prompts, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Profit boardroom. This also comes with courses 
on DeepSeek, you can see the links here. Courses and SAPs on DeepSeek, Claude 4, 2.5 Pro, and GPT-03. So for example, if we click on this link, you can see we actually have a four hour course on DeepSeek via this link. Claude 4 as well, we have full courses on. So feel free to get this stuff inside the AI Success Lab along with all the prompts from today if you wanna to test this stuff out. And if you wanna get coaching support, community access, if you wanna get Q and A's, if you want to be able to interact with me, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. You can also ask any questions you have inside there. I'm very active inside this community. It comes with lots of templates, agents, workflows, all the stuff that I've actually implemented inside my business. It's fun creating games, but let's talk about what's actually going to make you money and save you time. That stuff is all included inside the classroom. And then it also comes with weekly coaching calls plus a Q&A as well. And on top of that, each week I make a personalized video answering everyone's questions. Now, if you just want us to implement all this stuff for you, maybe you want to save a lot of time, you want someone to go off an agency to just build automations for you, feel free to get a free AI automation strategy session. Link in the comments and description. You can book in a free AI strategy session and then just book in a call with us and we'll be happy to help you. And basically just plan out step by step what you can automate, how you can automate it, and then the next steps for doing that. So feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching.